Hi, Rahul Kochar here, a Senior Partner Solution Architect at AWS. Joining me today is a fellow Amazonian, Sneha Masur, Senior Partner Devel Development Manager also at AWS. So Sneha, why are companies looking to modernize with managed databases in cloud? Rahul, data volumes are increasing at an unprecedented rate, exploding from terabytes to petabytes and sometimes exabytes of data. And traditional on-premises data analytics approaches don't scale well enough and they're too expensive. Also, we hear from companies, they're, they're looking to extract more value from their data, but they struggle to capture, store, and analyze all the data generated by today's modern and digital businesses. Data, as you know, is hugely valuable. Some say data is the new oil. Effective leaders use immense amounts of data available to them to make informed decisions, look around corners, and take meaningful action. According to Forbes, organizations that take a data-driven approach grow at an average of more than 30% annually. All right, thank you, Sneha. So now, can you share with us the key benefits of these managed database services, please? Sure, Rahul. When considering managed database services, there are three benefits mainly that you can achieve. So we understand how expensive and complex it can be to manage database administrative functions, including regular patching cycles, performance optimization, backup, and disaster recovery for constantly changing applications. Adapting these operations to the cloud also requires new skills and training. The key benefit managed databases provide is that they increase the efficiency of your database by automating undifferentiated administrative tasks and removing human error. With managed databases, you can realize benefits such as improved performance, scalability, availability, security, durability, and much more. By improving the efficiency of your databases, you're able to reduce costs. And now that you've freed up resources, saved costs, you can focus on delivering innovation to the business. Thank you, Sneha, for giving us the business context of migrating to managed database services. Next, we will dive deep with my colleague, Kiran Rande, on various migration pathways. Do check out that video. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul. Hello, everyone. Rahul Kocher here, Partner Solution Architect with AWS. I'm now joined by my colleague, Kiran Rande. Kiran, do you want to introduce yourself? Hey, Rahul. Thanks for having me here. Hey, hello everyone, I'm Kiran Randi. I work as a Principal Solutions Architect here at AWS. All right, so uh, Kiran, in our previous session, we understood the value, the business value that a managed database solution brings to the business. Can we now dive deep into typical database operations and the different outcomes a managed database solution here at AWS delivers to operations and then to the business? Yeah, for sure. So to illustrate the burden of like managing databases, mm -hmm. so we can now look closely at the various database administration tasks that are required uh, like to keep your databases up and running. So if you see here, uh, like few of the tasks such as like automatic uh, failover, backup and recovery, upgrades. So all these tasks here, these are like typically these the these are the database administration tasks. Yep. So we're in a lot of time goes in just for like patching, for advanced monitoring and various other things. But, so the tasks that you see here, like such as like schema design, query construction, and query optimization, these are very essential and critical for application development. So, yeah. now and let's would, talk. Would it be would it would it make sense that you know the true differentiation of an application of what makes an application the behavior of an application is in these top tasks versus what's yes. in the bottom, yes. which you would say are table stakes. Yes, yes, absolutely. And then uh, shortly we are going to talk about like, what is the AWS responsibility versus like customer responsibility uh, in a typical like managed database services world here at AWS. Okay. Hey, uh, now let's talk about the AWS responsibility versus like customer responsibility. Sure. So with managed databases on the AWS, so when it comes to the database administration tasks, such as like automatic failover, backup and recovery mm -hmm. upgrades, so these will be now AWS responsibility, like so all these, versus customers can focus on the tasks that are like most important for application development. Yep. For example, let's talk about Amazon Relational Database Service, so otherwise called as RDs, so which is a managed service. 
So this will remove the burden of like managing all the database administration tasks. Okay. Right. So with managed databases on AWS, so AWS continuously monitors the clusters. So to, to keep your like databases workloads like up and running. So mm -hmm. with like set uh, with self healing storage or like with automated um, uh, with, uh, or else with the automated scaling mm -hmm. so that you can focus on the application development. Sure. So now that like we spoke about like AWS responsibility and the customer responsibility. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to talk about the AWS's broadest set of like databases and analytical services. Okay. So that will allow or like which are available for the customers to lift and shift their like databases and analytics workload to AWS. And then like, please keep in mind that like, there are like several thousands of customers are doing this at a different scale on a regular basis. All right, so that makes sense. The fact that you know, uh, companies, customers and partners do not have to manage those mundane tasks and they can create, in, create differentiated business preposition, applications, innovation up here. This is where you know, the cost is saved in the operations, the money is utilized towards, and the funding can be redirected towards creating uh, the next big application, yeah? Yeah, but Rahul, like, now let's talk about the various managed database services offerings from AWS. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, like, for customers, like, wanting to move away from their, like, self-managing relational databases, I mean, like, we can, when I say self-managing relational da databases, like, for example, it can be Oracle, or it can be SQL Server, or it mm -hmm. can be PostgreSQL. So for all these like relational database services, AWS offers Amazon Aurora and then Amazon RTS. So for customers like wanting to move away from their like self-managed non-relational databases uh, or like key, or like a, a key value stores. Mm -hmm. So we do have like DynamoDB, DocumentDB, ElastiCache. So it's not just like relational databases versus non-relational databases, right? So we do have several other use cases for like Hadoop and then Spark deployments or like operational analytics or like for real-time analytics. And then AWS offers a, a various other services like Kafka and then various other things. Okay. Great. So now that like we spoke about like, uh, um, like the burden uh, um, like on the customer, like, uh, by, uh, like for managing the databases on their own versus like how we can ease that burden like by migrating their workloads into managed databases. So, and then we did talk about like AWS responsibility versus the customer responsibility. Yeah. And then we did tap into the, uh, the, the broadest set of like uh, services that we have in databases analytics. So would you explain us and how can we migrate these workloads from mm -hmm. on-prem to managed database services? Sure, let me just cover that. Thank you, Kiran. And I would like to thank Sneha for giving us the details on why the business case stacks up to migrate to managed database services. I'll now talk about the different tools and services our customers and partners have to help migrate databases on-prem uh, the, of the old guard systems over to a managed database service from AWS. Uh, we've been doing migration uh, for a while now from on-prem resources to AWS and our migration plan is divided into three broad phases. Assess, mobilize, migrate, and modernize. You would have heard of these phases from our migration acceleration program, MAP. MAP also applies to our database migration services. So let's look at the different tools available right now to our customers and our partners for free to help with migrating databases to AWS managed database services. The first one I would like to talk about is a DMS Fleet Advisor. DMS Fleet Advisor is a tool that is used to create the business case on by identifying the current fleet of databases running on-prem. And what would that future state is gonna look like in the AWS for a, for a comparable managed service and a managed solution from AWS. Let's now talk about the Fleet Advisor. Fleet Advisor will do at scale analysis of the fleet of different databases running on-prem and it will then identify and build a structure of the metadata, the different schema uh, constructs of the database and what would an equivalent solution would look like in the AWS. 
once you have that data, it gives you a very good idea of what would the future architecture would look like, where we could optimize and modernize the databases. Now, when it comes to mobilizing that data, we provide customers and partners with two additional services, AWS Schema Conversion Tool, SCT, and AWS DMS Schema Conversion Tool. SCT is used to help convert the schema of the database going from heterogeneous classes of database. A very good example would be when a customer wants to migrate SQL-based database into a non-relational database. That's when Schema Convert tool would give us the information. A database schema conversion, TMS schema conversion tool, will actually help customers with identifying what is the comparable schema going to look like in the same homogeneous class. And a very good opportunity could then be to say, hey, you know, if you're running a uh, SQL workload, what would a Postgres uh, equivalent schema would look like? Now, by this time in the mobilized space, we have prepared the environment. We have still not migrated the databases and the data and the rows inside the, the data. At that time is the, the migrate phase kicks in. This is where the DMS a database migration service comes in and it'll help you migrate the data from on-prem databases into AWS. It'll then do the post-deployment validations for those services. Again, during the three phases, you have access to various AWS resources and the various programs, such as solution architects who can create uh, and help build that business case for you, review the designs with you, and uh, uh, Solution partners can also come in and provide expert guidance through various professional services engagement and accelerators that they have created. Uh, also, uh, various set of programs are also available to our partners and our customers, such as MAP and OLA for creating the business case, identifying what is the cost of current implementation looks like and what does the future state would look like, including the, the run books, the playbooks, and the best practices and guidance for our customers as they start that journey. On that note, I would like to thank you for your time today and we look forward to collaborating with you soon.